Cherie, check out our competitive mortgage rates. My goodness, rates just keep going down. I wonder if I should refinance. You know, this decision, like almost every decision in finance, is all about trade-offs. Trade-offs? Sure. In this particular case, the trade-offs are between the costs of refinancing and the value of the savings if you do refinance. So, if the cost of the refinancing is greater than the value of the savings in refinancing, you'd probably want to stay put in the mortgage that you have. But if the costs are less than the value of the savings, then I think you might want to think about a new mortgage. Does that make sense? It does, but how do you figure the cost and the value of the savings? Sure. A bank like this should be able to give you a pretty accurate idea of the closing costs of a mortgage. Um, for example, the application fee, maybe the cost of a new appraisal, uh, the loan origination fee to the lender, and so forth. Um, and there might be other fees associated with a new mortgage, but you should have a really good idea about what those costs are before you make a decision. And next would be the value of the savings. You know, the reason that you're asking this question is because interest rates have gone down. And for a mortgage loan, that translates into lower monthly payments down the road. And so what you'd want to do is calculate those lower payments and then subtract them from the higher payments that you now have with your current mortgage. And what you end up with is a stream of savings that lasts for as long as you stay in the house or the life of the mortgage, whichever is shorter. And then you just translate that stream of savings into a value today and compare it to the costs and then make your decision. Thanks. Have you made a decision yet, Cherie? 